Hey everyone, welcome to Q&A. So I've gotten a lot of questions about how to write a thank you email after a job interview. So a post job interview thank you email or thank you note. Uh, namely, should you send one? The answer is yes. And how to send one and what should you say? So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, now, the reality is that most people don't send these, okay? At least in the first round of interviews, most candidates don't avail themselves of this opportunity. Um, if you have a job with multiple rounds of interviews, like a second job interview, or a, God help you, a third or a fourth, in later rounds, more candidates send thank you notes, but in the initial round, most people don't, okay? Um, and this is something that you really should do. Um, now, just some basic stuff, to get some basic stuff out of the way here, don't expect a response. As far as you're concerned, even if this has worked wonders, from your perspective, it's gonna just have gone into a void, okay? It's extremely rare that you'll get a response for your th for your thank you note or to your thank you note. Um, and the other thing is that, um, just to get the idiotic stuff out of the way here, if you're gonna do this, Use spell checker, grammar checker, use words correctly and make professional, okay? If you're gonna misspell words and misuse words and not construct sentences properly, uh, don't bother because that'll probably do more harm than good, <laughs> depending on who you send it to. Um, it's like if you were, hypothetically, if you're gonna send an actual letter to somebody, a thank you letter, and you were gonna write this yourself, you wouldn't write it in crayon, right? Because you would come across like some kind of godforsaken fool, uh, right? So writing a note that is misspelling words and has bad grammar and all this kind of stuff is, is kind of like that, okay? So don't do it. The entire point of doing this is that you want the person reading it to feel good. Okay, this is not some kind of token thing that you can just send a generic note to somebody and expect that it will do a lot of good. It won't, okay? It'll actually probably be more of a nuisance than anything in your favor because especially recruiters, they deal with a lot of communication with a lot of candidates every day and this is just yet another thing filling up their inbox uh, that they gotta deal with. Okay, so if you're gonna do this, you need to do it in such a way that when they read it, they feel good about themselves and consequently they feel good about you, okay? That's the whole point of doing this. Now, um, if you do a thank you note, it will signal that you care, okay? That's the whole point. You wanna signal that you're professional, that you're uh, in the sense that you understand this is appropriate and this is a thing to do. Uh, when you send this and it is uh, worded very well, that shows you're professional. And the entire thing shows that you're passionate about this job and you care about it, okay? And these are things you wanna convey. These are things that the people who didn't send a note uh, will not be conveying, okay? So that's kind of the whole point of this. So to that note, if you're gonna do a thank you email, it must be personalized, okay? You can't just send a note that you could send to anyone. And you can't send a note that could be from anyone. You wanna send something that's personalized and makes the person feel good. Now, let me give you an example. A way to do this is to think. Have they explained anything to you? Have they offered you anything? Have they provided you with anything? Have they done anything for you uh, in the process leading up to the interview or at the interview itself that was optional. They didn't have to do, but they did it anyway to help you, okay? If they have done any of those things, thank them for it. So you could say something like, hello, you know, thank you very much for the opportunity to interview with you. I really appreciate the um, way you took the trouble to explain the entire interview process to me when we first got into the room. A lot of people don't do that and it really made me feel comfortable knowing where everything was going and I appreciate you taking the trouble to do that. Okay, so that would be a great way to start off. As you can, as you can tell, this is something that's personalized. You couldn't just send this to anyone because you're talking about something specific to the interview you just did, okay? Um, now for the rest of it, 
Uh, you want to keep it brief, okay? I would say a maximum of approximately five sentences, maybe. Uh, you don't want to write like a whole page, okay? That No one's going to read that. It has to be relatively brief. So after the initial sort of thank you about something specific and, and the benefit it provided, then you just say something to the effect of, you know, I uh, should you need any more information from me? Please don't hesitate to ask. I look forward to hopefully speaking with you again in the near future. Uh, thank you very much. Best regards or, or have a great day. And then your name. Okay. Uh, that's good. Now, the medium that you send this over, you can obviously send it over email, which is fine. But if you were communicating with the uh, interviewer, on social media before, if it was uh, LinkedIn or Facebook, one of the advantages of those is that if you write this same message in, say, a LinkedIn message, like a DM, uh, the great thing is that when they receive this, they see a picture of your your uh, your icon, like your your face or whatever, presumably, right beside your name when they receive this. So they instantly remember, ah, okay, this is the person that sent this to me. Okay, so there's some advantages there. Um, if you're going to send it in an email, considering having, consider having an email signature that does have your picture in it. Okay. So it's a quick visual and they know exactly who this was. This is important because if they're interviewing with a lot of candidates, they might not keep everybody's names straight in their head. Um, so that's another element here. Also, you want to send this the same day as your interview or at the very latest, the following day. Okay, uh, don't wait three days and send a thank you note. This should be done uh, the same day or the next day at the latest. Okay, um, and that's about it, really. Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. You guys are awesome. Take care.